Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to my channel. Now today's question, uh, this comes from a coach that I recently talked to on a Zoom call. And uh, I already kind of gave him this advice, but I thought this would be good for me to come back to YouTube here and talk about it. And our whole conversation was about, you know, he has a high school coaching job. Um, he is a high school basketball coach. Um, he also does some stuff in the summer with AAU. Um, and he is looking to pursue his business. And he was like, hey, you know, I want to do my business full time. I know I can generate more income doing that than my uh, coaching job that I have in high school and in my AAU job. And he was like, is it possible? Like, can I balance all three of those things? Can I balance the coaching jobs and uh, the training business? And I said, well, you know, that's a really good question. Um, some people are really good at time management and most people are not, <laughs> right? I'm gonna say that one more time. Some people are really good at time management. Most people are not. And when I say most people, I, I do mean 99.9% .9 of people are absolutely horrible with managing their time. They don't wake up with intention. They just kind of float around like a butterfly right when they wake up and then they figure out what they're gonna do that day, right? And that's most people, that's the average human being, right? Now, if you're really, really, really good at time management and you're like, when, when you wake up, you're like, all right, at this time I'm doing this, at this time I'm doing this, at this time I'm doing these sales calls, at this time I'm doing these sessions. Like if your schedule is ironed out that way, then absolutely you can balance, right? Having a coaching job and having your business. But here's where the big problem is, right? And this is what I talked to this coach about. I said, how many hours per week are you coaching? He said, well, it's every Tuesday, Thursday from 6 to 7.30. Um, and that, that was like during the summer, his, his job with AU. And I said, okay, well, with, during the school year, like what does that look like? How many hours are you coaching? And he told me, and I said, you know, okay, well, here's how many hours you're coaching. But we haven't even talked about the hours yet where you're going back and forth with parents. You are getting there early for practice. You're going on the road for tournaments. You're getting ready for games. You're having to check into the hotel. Like there's so many little different things that coaches of teams do that business owners never do. All right. And I could say the same thing. There's so many little details that business owners do if they're doing it full time that coaches for teams will never do, right? And what, what we dug into was the actual amount of time that he was spending coaching his teams. And I told him, I said, look, here's the amount of hours you're actually spending over here. And it was a lot of hours per week. And I said, how are you going to have the energy and the bandwidth to spend time over here in your training business if you're already doing this all the time. And we were talking on Zoom and he kind of just froze there and he was like, well, I haven't looked at it that way. And I was like, well, that's the reality. The reality is you're spending so much time over here in your, in your, uh, you know, your coaching job. You wanna do this over here in your business, but over here, this is where like all of your time's being spent. So. How do you expect to have high quality training sessions when you're dead tired? How do you expect to grow and expand your business when all of your time is being spent over here in your coaching job? And he was like, yeah, you're right. He was like, you know, it's been hard to market myself because I just don't really have the time. And I was like, well, yeah, that's, you know, it's what we're diagnosing right now is you don't have the time over here. And then I kind of mentioned to him, I said, well, you know, what if you had, what if we cut out half the amount of hours that you have with your coaching job and we put that over here in your business? What do, what do you think is going to happen to your business? And he was like, well, yeah, I mean, I'm going to have way more time to train. I'm going to have way more time to market myself. I'll have more time to take on uh, new clients. And I was like, yeah, like, but the thing is you need to have time and energy to do that. If you don't have time and energy to do that, where you're at with your business right now, it will never change because the amount of hours that you're working over here in your coaching job, that's, that's a baseline, right? That is a baseline. And those numbers probably will increase over time, 
as you get more responsibility with those teams. And I said, you know, like the best best piece of advice I ever got, and uh, I, I can I can say this from experience, is you can't chase two rabbits at once. It's impossible. You're not going to be able to sprint and chase two rabbits. You're you're going to be chasing one, then you're be chasing the other, and you you just can't do that. All right. It's better and it's best. Like if you're watching this video and you want to like per, really pursue your training business. I'm not saying just completely stop what you're doing and, and quit your job and stop your coaching job. But the thing is, if, if you're a head coach, you can bring in an assistant coach in that job, have them do a lot of things that take up a lot of time. So now you can spend more of your time in your business, right? So this is just thinking strategically here. It's how can we find someone who can start to, uh, we can start to delegate some of our responsibilities to so now we have more time over here that we can spend on the training business and then what happens is when you have more time in your training business you get more confident because you're like wow like all i really need to do in this business is spend time uh learning marketing spend time uh closing new clients and if i have the time and energy to do that i will always grow my business if i don't have the time and energy to do that then I'm gonna be stuck over here in this in this coaching job. And I'm not, when I say stuck over here, I'm not saying that's a bad career move, right? Doing coaching for a school, like that that can be awesome, right? I don't hate on anyone who does that. But my channel is, is designed for coaches that wanna have a training business and they wanna do that full time, right? And this is why I like to answer the question of, you know, should I do both? Uh, the answer is long term, it's, it's physically impossible. Short term, I would uh, have an assistant coach take on some, some, some of the responsibilities. Then I would start to uh, spend more time in the training business. So that way you have more time, you have more energy focused on that. Because if your focus is on two different things, right, both of those things will never grow. I, I know this. And, and the thing is, I can tell you that. And like right now, I have multiple businesses. Right. There's like at this point, there's like four different things that I'm involved with. Right. And three of those things I have never talked about on this channel. But four of those things, like, because I have pieces in place, I can be involved in those things. Like, I still have time to shoot these videos every single day. Um, and that's because, again, it comes down to what we talked about, I think, at the beginning of this video, time management. Right. But I'm not sitting here trying to chase four different things at once, right? You, you have to be able to have people in place if you're going to be doing multiple things, right? Can't do everything by yourself. And that's, that's really the whole message here in this video is if you're trying to do two different things, can't do, those, both, can't do both those things at a high level by yourself. You're going to have to find someone who can start to take over some of the responsibility so you can put more focus into the thing that you want to do. And if you're watching this right now and, and you're like, you've been struggling with your time management, well, to me, if you fix that, that can fix a lot of things. And then when you can start to identify, well, who can I bring on that can take on some of this responsibility? Now I can spend more time over here in my training business. You'll see your business is going to grow when you put more time into it. Like it, it has to. <laughs> if you gave yourself 10 more hours per week of time over here in your business, it's going to grow like unless you're just spending those 10 hours like doing nothing <laughs> right which hopefully that's not the case so i hope that answers the question um you know you, this is where you have to like seriously you just got to take out your calculator and see exactly how much time am i spending over here in my coaching um and and how am i spending how much time am i spending over here in my training business they're two completely different things now, thanks. Now, the last thing that I will say here, because I was going to make a different video about this, but you know, this is just the facts. If you think about the coaching industry versus your like versus having a business, two completely different things, right? When you coach a high school team, for example, you're going to get paid the same amount, right? And the amount that you work, that that's really. I mean, that's up to you if you have an assistant coach who's helping you with stuff or not. Um, but the amount that you work, that time, you're not, 
I don't want to say you're not getting paid for that time, but you spend a lot more time coaching and talking and going back and forth on email and going back and forth on phone and setting up for events, driving the bus. I mean, there's a lot that you do as a coach in that, I'm going to say in that industry. Over here in your business, like there's zero cap on the amount of income that you can generate like if you have a lot of focus over here, all right? So I, I hope you can see that. There's a big difference between the two. And oftentimes coaches don't see that because they're like, well, I could just take on more teams and coach more teams. Well, of course you could do that, but where's all your time going now? Now you have zero time at home, right? With your business, you have the flexibility to hire people. You have the flexibility to literally work the hours that you wanna work, right? If you want, if you wanna set it up that way. So that's it for this video. I hope this helps. Hope this helped answer your question. Um, and uh, you know, if you pick one thing, you go all in on that. When you start to streamline things, then you can go and do other things. But time management is going to be, I, I think it's one of the most important things that most coaches just honestly are really bad at. And it's not just coaches, it's most human beings are terrible at managing their time, right? When you fix that, I, I think you'll be able to like be a lot more successful. And also you'll have a lot more freedom in your personal life. All right, that's it, and I'll see you later.